can we talk about your teenager sassometer? I mean, you did not raise your child to think that speaking to you or anyone on authority like that is okay. Uh, can you imagine if you talk to your parents like that? And the worst part is, it's like this baffling blow up that comes up out of nowhere. I mean, you could breathe wrong and they're literally ripping your face off with their words or you say good morning and you get, you know, a whole bunch of um, kind of rude and like defensive comments back like, oh, are you trying to ruin my day? And of course your brain gets triggered and so now it becomes like a hurricane, level five hurricane in the blink of an eye. And even though I know that's not what you're aiming for, when you engage with your teen in their sassiness, it just makes everything worse. I know what you really want is open and honest conversations with mutual respect. I mean, why can't they just ask for what they want or say what they mean instead of coming all at you with guns a blazing? Wouldn't it be great if your family knew how to talk about hard feelings and just work through conflict without taking it out on each other? And what if you felt more confident and relaxed to know how to respond in a way that would bring them down a few notches? At least then they would be reflecting the values that you raised them under. The main reason this feels so hard is because when your teenager starts showing up in a way that is so diametrically opposed to what you believe is respectful, good, and morally right, it challenges your belief of what a good parent is and also challenges your perception of authority. And that's the belief that triggers your brain into engaging with and reacting with what your teen is doing, but more importantly, trying to shut that down right now before it gets out of hand, or worse yet, they think that talking to you like that is even close to okay. So when you're trying to shut them down, let me guess if this is true, you either yell louder than they are, or you use worse or more powerful words than they are, something to try and assert that authority over them in order to shut them down. But that's like holding a lid on a boiling pot. And we both know what happens if you do that, somebody, usually the person holding the lid, is gonna get burned. The other reason that it doesn't work is because you are displaying emotional dysregulation, which is exactly what you're asking your teenager not to do. So you're modeling the very thing that you don't want. Think back to when you were a teen, when you were full of emotional spiciness, like I mean five chili spice and didn't know how to say what was going on, but it feels like a full body experience. What did you want from your parents? What did you want most from them? Probably for them to just listen and actually not engage with you. Not because it was okay that you were being rude, but that it was okay for you to have wildly complex developing emotions and not know what to do with them. And that your parents would be at least that safe pl place where you could bleh, kind of express them and know that you would feel heard. Better yet, your parents might even ask some curious or compassionate questions to help you unfold what you were feeling and make sense of it so you didn't need to feel so heightened and hijacked by all of it. I know shutting your teenager down feels like the right thing to do. And it's probably what you learned as a child because it's what your parents used. When I started backing off a little bit and giving my teens a little bit of grace reasonably to express all, their, all of their emotional mess and not engaging with them or reacting to what they were doing, but remembering like they kind of needed that space, it brought our whole relationship down and created so much more connection because they felt safe to be that spiciness around me within reason of certain boundaries. Even just that one thing meant we had less conflict, less yelling, and I felt calmer, and I think they did too. That's one of the number one outcomes that parents tell me when they use my three-step framework is that they feel calmer, their whole house feels calmer, and even their teenagers say to them, I think my mental health is better because I just feel calmer around you. If this is relatable to you, just type a yes in the comments because I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're a parent of teens, you are not alone.